And well, the poorly structured plot, incoherent generic storyline, one-dimensional characters, corny acting, tepid direction, dull shooting locations, and cheesy special effects may not be up to the standards of even the least of today's slickly polished big-budget superhero epics, revisiting this often-forgotten entry in the mid-1990s B-movie sci-fi action canon confirms that Venom is at least in spots deserving of the overlooked gem status many fans insist. <laughs> And so, at last, Venom. A bad and boring movie that could only have been a bad and boring movie, remarkable only for the staggering length of time it's taken to slide all the way out of Sony Pictures' asshole. Good God, you... Enduring through multiple regime changes, dozens of stalled-out production attempts, and no less than three separate versions of its semi-adjacent Spider-Man franchise without anyone managing to just say, you know, maybe we should pinch this one off and wipe. Indeed, Sony, or rather, once powerful producer Avi Arad, has been trying to make Venom since at least the first Spider-Man movie. And probably longer than that, since when Arad originally glommed onto the Spider-Man movie rights back in the bad old days of 90s comics and the worse old days of 90s comic book licensing, Venom's spiffy-looking Spider-Man butt-monster design was the only thing guaranteed to move more merch in the mainstream as heavily as Knives for Fist Man and Captain Guns and Skulls, despite being one of the most boring bad guys in the Spider-Man canon. For the nearly 20 years of existence between his admittedly iconic origin story and a series of radical overhauls in the early 2000s. In fact, Sony and Arad have remained so convinced, not just that Venom in movies, but a Venom solo movie is still a good idea now as it might have been in 1996 or so, that they were willing to wreck Sam Raimi's plans for Spider Man 3 and kill Spider Man 4 completely in order to make it happen, and even today, the awkward joint custody arrangement between Disney and Sony over the official Spider Man movies exists primarily. So how is it? Well, it's a movie about Venom, a Spider-Man bad guy whose entire gimmick personality, power set, backstory, and only remotely interesting dynamic exist in reference to Spider-Man that can't feature, involve, mention, or even acknowledge the existence of Spider-Man. There's one word of dialogue, a guy's name. Shut up and get to the point! So... Pretty goddamn bad, yeah, but since it is a Venom movie, it's kind of hard to imagine it was ever going to not be bad because a Venom movie is just a bad idea. And the thing is, watching it, you get the sense that a lot of the people involved understood that fact and are doing whatever they can to wrench parts of the damn thing into fun shape or at least entertain themselves amid the dreck. Make no mistake, Venom will alternately bore, annoy, and insult the intelligence of most mainstream audiences when it's playing things straight, but it's surprisingly peppered with weird bits of goofball digression and moments so calculated to draw attention to the dumbest parts of its own makeup that you can't help but imagine them coming from anything other than contempt for the material by all involved. You hear okay? Notice you've copied my beard. Oh, by the way, this is a friend of mine, Tree. I am Groot! I am Steve Rogers. And while these are the parts that I assume some fans, the ones that for some reason were anticipating a dead serious Venom movie, will come away being angry about, they were the only times I had any fun and the only spots where the film ends up showing any real originality and justifying its own existence.
Spider-Man. Whereas in the comics, Venom is a pair of black Spider-Man pajamas that's actually an alien that gets mad when Spider-Man takes it off so it becomes black pajamas for a different guy named Eddie and turns him into an evil monster face version of Spider-Man. To me, the main villain of the movie is actually Spider-Man. He's arrogant, he's vengeful, and basically he's gone mad. So when he tears off the black suit, it's like he takes out his inner demon into an external form that he can actually face. So it wasn't really about fighting Venom, it was about fighting the thing that corrupted him. In this movie, Venom is an alien goo monster who escapes from a science lab in San Francisco where Reza Med's evil tech startup guy is conducting illegal experiments in order to infect the homeless with alien goo monster parasites to make colonization of space happen faster by infecting Tom Hardy as a non-jerky activist journalist version of Eddie from the original Spider-Man comics, which gives him superhuman beating people up and swinging around with strings of goo like Spider-Man powers and lets him morph into an invincible monster that still looks mostly like a black monster face version of Spider-Man pajamas for no specific explicable reason. My god, are you still talking? Incidentally, as strange as some of the editing in this review may be, I promise you the editing in Venom is worse. What that eventually lands on is that Venom sucks. No, really, that's their new origin story. Venom describes himself as kind of a loser back on his home planet, and being the only one of himself on Earth as opposed to letting his apparently all much bigger, stronger, better armed fellows invade sounds like a better deal to him, so that's why he's gonna be the good guy. Yeah, that, that's it. That's what they came up with. Which, okay, the big scary monster is actually just some shitty dumbass is certainly one way to handle this kind of thing. At least it's interesting. Venom is a boring, stupid, ugly to look at movie that only ever becomes interesting when the post-production studio meddling is sloppy enough to be funny, or when you can tell someone said, screw it, Tom, just be weird and twitchy and that'll be something at least. Although the most honest and sincerely heartfelt line of dialogue belongs to Michelle Williams as Eddie's girlfriend, when she's asked at one point to intone with complete and utter sincerity, I'm sorry about Venom. One star, me too, Michelle. I'm sorry about Venom too.